Now from Safeco Field in Seattle, MLB The Show is on the air. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Oakland A's and the Seattle Mariners. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Stepping up now, number 87. Batting Watch is fully in effect Center these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. I keep that hot bat, huh? Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Racing back the center fielder, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. This isn't even fair anymore. He's making sure nobody has a chance to even touch him, that he'll be in the record books forever. Digging in, Nolan Arenado, Batting hitting court. just a bit over the Mendoza Aaron. line on the year. Nolan Arenado. Runners are at second and third with one down. Hey, you got it, Nolan better. Here we go. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Striding in, Ken Batting Holman. Back. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So stepping in, number 40. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Number 40. Two men are on with two men out. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. M's pick up a run on two hits. We'll head to inning number two here at Safeco. It's the Mariners one and the A's nothing. Here's Will Myers, right at $2.30 with the batting average coming into this one, so it's mostly been Will a struggle for him. Myers. Hey, let's turn to you, huh? High in the air out to center field. Center fielder has a beat on it. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Number 87. He'll hit from the right side of the batter's box against the left-handed pitcher. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's a fastball chop fouled at the plate at strike one. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Here it comes 0 and 2. Curveball but he can't get him to chase it 1 and 2. Let's go right here. Faces are empty one man out. Now two, a two. fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this pitch is swung on and missed, and the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, two away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path.
digging in to try it again. Number 61. 0 for 1 for Center him here in this one. Number 61. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Digging in once again, number 61. 0 for number 2 61. on his line thus far. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Lifted the other way out to left center. To make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Ready once again, number 39. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. Swing and a little blooper to center. Bennett into shallow center. Two gone. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Ready for another shot now. Sean Costa. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. As a look, now the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Center fielder giving chase. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. A strand a couple. Score remains tied one to one. Digging in the switch hitter, number 87. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Let's go, kid. One time, right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. And there's one well above one the ball. zone for a no ball. Strike. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. The 1-0 delivery. Sliced hard on the ground. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Here's Nolan Arenado. He hit a sack fly earlier. Nolan Arenado. Hey, what time? Right now. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that. First baseman number double zero. Standing Ken in, Ken Coleman. Coleman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 0-1, here's the pitch. Hard hit to first. And a sliding try, but it's through. A base hit. One run is scored. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's now 3-1. to one. Well, that two RBI base hit is some big runs right there. In the middle innings, those are critical because now, as you move forward, you get to the best part of your bullpen as you set it up to shut the game down. Maybe they'll add more runs, but it's not. Ready for another chance? Craig Cornelius. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Swinging a soft liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base. The throw into second. 
And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Well, he clearly thought he had a shot at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield of getting it in quick to cut him down. Digging in and looking for more, number 87. Number 87. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well out of here. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. So his remarkable season continues. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You've heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. 5-2 to two the final today. The Seattle Mariners with their 105th win best in the division. Number 68 records his 14th winning decision of the season. Edwin Diaz hammers down the save. The league leading 57th of the season for him. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.